Aliens Fire Team Gameplay. Oh, that's right, baby. J Rock is here, and we got about 15 minutes of some good Alien Fire Team gameplay. Brand new. Come on back. Let's check this thing out. I wait. J Rock has come back to you, too. What is happening with the millions? And the millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J Rock is here. And we got ourselves 15 minutes of some Alien Fire Team gameplay. This is a game J Rock will be getting when it drops next month. Um, but we're going to check this gameplay out. Today, I am Alex Stadnik. I brought the best fire team with me. First off, you know him, you love him, you've seen him on Super Replay. Marcus Stewart. Pew, pew, pew. Me shooting my gun. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. The Zenos. Oh, at the Z yes. And then, of course, GI's greatest video editor, the man, the myth, the legend, Alex Van Aken. Um, hello, Alex. Hello, Alex. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. What in tarnation are we playing, boys? Well, looks like you're here in a fire team of some sort. You guys might looks be like there's some yeah, alien base game of some kind. They yeah. look elite, too. Is this alien really. fire team elite? It is! Look at that! Oh there's arrows! Yeah! This is the uh, three player co op uh, shooter that is uh, set in the Alien universe. I think I yeah. read that uh, it takes place after the original trilogies. If you care about the lore, what's going on here? Uh, and we got, as you can see at the bottom there, we got to go hands-on with Endul. Alien 3. Um, yes, sure. Wasn't all that yeah. great. And those numbers. <laughs> There's a lot of numbers. I like I Aliens. I think that was a setting, and I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Alien 3. As as I, so, I could have deal um, without that one. If, as, excuse me, as you're currently watching it, I am playing as the demo class so this is this is class based each class has a uh, has two different squad abilities um you can see in the bottom left there they're highlighted in yellow i think demos was probably my favorite if you've played a shooter you you should have a grasp on on what these like classes do there's gunner demolition dock and technician uh, demo is definitely the tanky one, uh, the one who can run in, and I had the most fun with their abilities, um, just because it's a fun excuse to blow the crap out of uh, one of the most iconic monsters in fiction. Yeah, totally. And one thing I noticed, which is cool, is that so we played this together, but this is um, this is your footage of a match you played with just AI. Yes. And I like how the AI are like androids from mm -hmm. like the canon. Yeah. Whereas when we played together, we were like humans. That's just like a, a fun little touch I just noticed. Yeah. Then it gets oh, easier okay. to stomach when they get like mauled to death. You're like, oh, we're not people. I don't know, man. I was sad in Aliens when some when when the when they died. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, it's a nice little touch, and I do think there are nice touches of lore in this. Cause I mean, in in our preview hands on right, I there is story that that links these missions. Like we do in in what we have played, there are three levels in an overarching mission where you have to save a person, um, a doctor on this ship, um, mm. and each of it delves a little deeper into the story that they're telling in this, uh, which is I felt like it was minimal, and I it's not why I came to this, even though like uh, we talked about it off mic, but I love Alien and Aliens. Um, it pretty much stops there. I like Prometheus, but um, so it feels like there are some nice lore touches, and they, they've definitely done their homework for this. Um, I, I can't speak to how quality of the story it's going to be, but there definitely is those lore touches in this. Yeah, when we were playing, we noticed that the, there's a lot of scampering in vents. <laughs> Quite a uh, bit. They they hit a lot of the the alien hallmarks. Between yeah, that, I know what you um, mean. You getting mauled to death there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As well as like just the little phrases the guys will say like you know it's a flesh wound and you know some of the cards uh, that I guess we'll talk about later have like a game over reference like mm -hmm. there's definitely a kind of like grab bag of alien hallmarks in this game definitely yeah now I will I, say I, Alien Isolation some, some, some of one of the scariest games I've ever played a diehard 
you heart can pounding. Because you, you can't. Um, only thing you do is like. Uh, smoke bomb. Go buy it. Uh, make noise. And put it. Make it go in a different direction. Or use the uh, the flamethrower. Definitely, aliens is very much like the James Cameron. And you don't get flamethrower to halfway through the game. Into the more um, like um, Bill Paxton. Love like, that game, game though. Man, Ain't gonna lie. Like that kind of vibe. Um, yeah. That but damn game was. Movies, like, it was scary but fun there at the was same a time. Serious tone too, which I think they do in this game, but you know, doesn't have my girl Sigourney Weaver in it, obviously. At least not yet. So. DLC. Yeah, yeah, for real. And I, that is an interesting point. I am curious. So I only got to play through... Alex, Marcus, and I played a like the first section of the overarching mission together, but there was more to play. I finished that, that first mission, but I am curious slash anxious to see how much more there is content-wise. Um, because, I mean, as you as humble viewer, as you can see here, it, it very much takes from... There are some similarities to something like Left 4 Dead, the, that the, the PVE experience, right? The, even the the enemy types. There's a there's a spitter. There's a, a boomer esque one. There's you know a big daddy and the the xenomorph warrior. Um, so it's it's not reinventing the wheel by any stretch, but I do think it it, it does have some competent uh, uh, hallmarks going for it, and I I, I like. I, I've enjoyed experimenting with the different classes and figuring out what's best for my style. Sure. Let me ask you some, uh, some quick questions about the alien uh, expectations. Uh, like you mentioned before, they you know they call it the defense. Do they hurt? Does it hurt you when you touch your blood? Yes, it does. Can it okay. can it be an alien thing without without it hurting? Yeah, that's good to know. I feel like it's an easy to overlook thing for alien games, right? Uh, but you know, it's always good to you know that little attention to detail. Yeah. Do they, have you ever been stabbed by their tails? I don't think I did. Well, maybe when my first game, when I got killed by the big warrior one, I, I may have. Um, but I can't remember. <laughs> he's, a big, he's a big guy. Yeah, he's, he's a, we've seen him uh, manhandle us yeah. yes. many times. Yes, yes, he does. Um, for those of you who are interested in this game and uh, aren't necessarily wanting to play it with friends or, you know, you don't know if you're going to have friends to want to play with you um the ai is is actually pretty serviceable um they it's good to know i never found them to be that annoying which i think is the best compliment you can pay ai at times right um you know i think this is definitely going to be a game where it's more fun to play it with friends but i think solo players you're not going to be sol um and and the, the ai well it's sometimes needing a little push in the right direction uh, we'll get you where you need to go. Please, it's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, right now, and and this also takes cues, we talked about Left 4 Dead, um, it also takes cues from, you know, like, horde modes that you've played before, like Gears and that kind of stuff. Right yeah. now, we're, we're working through the, the, the station here, and we'll be, you know, there, there's moments of those, um, climactic like final spot uh final missions right where you have to crank the valve or, or open the the door or fly out of here and you're just like bombarded wait for the elevator with, yep exactly yeah and you're just let the valve crank itself yep <laughs> <laughs> um so i, I th oh. sorry go for it oh no, no no i was gonna i was gonna take us to another discussion okay. about this game that for blood coming out like I feel like there's other co-op, strictly co-op shooters coming out that I'm not thinking of, but... Um, it, Rainbow Six. Yeah, yep. Rainbow Six um, extraction. Uh, extraction. Yep, um, good call. It's interesting that we're getting all of these games again. <laughs> like, we're... The cycle of, you know, the cycle of game genre popularity is, like, coming back, and, like, now this genre is under that, you know, banner. For sure. Yeah, yeah. It's funny how that happens sometimes in media. Like, I feel like that happens in movies a lot, too. There's always, like, the summers where, like, oh, there's a lot of disaster movies this summer for some reason. Right. Like, everyone yeah. had the same thought of, like, what if we just made a movie about the planet getting blown up by a volcano? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, there's three other ones of these. Yeah. Huh. And they come out in the same year. Like, um, yeah. And I, I honestly... This I'm looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. about you guys, but I love Luck for Crank Dead. up the difficulty, you know, make I, it more challenging. Once I get the hang of it my older age 
of 27. Am I the only one that does that? I still love competitive shooters. Like, we'll play a game on, like, normal difficulty. Then once I get the hang of it, crank up the... Crank up the difficulty, but die a zillion times. I, I'm not always but love the challenge. Down to you know, get sweaty and go game seven in Warzone or Overwatch at all times. But I like playing with friends, so yeah. I'm I'm definitely here for that renaissance. I'm I I, I would like to see more games of that renaissance. Yeah, oh, that's, a, that's a that's a four letter word for you. That's, that's a, that's yeah. A, I know the word right there. <laughs> yeah. so, so there are. Have we talked about the classes yet? Um, we did. Uh, we did a little, a little bit. We talked about like the abilities. So you know, demo. You're seeing. I'm launching shoulder rockets. Um, what did What did y'all get to play? I forgot. I played, I the, played as uh, the gunner. Yeah, you were the gunner. I was the technician. The the, the the tech person. Yeah. I could drop a turret, and I also had an electric grenade that was good for uh, crowd control. And yeah, I enjoyed my class. You know, it, it's pretty simple. Like you know, there, you drop, you know, those two things. They're both on maps with like the shoulder buttons. If you're playing the controller, they do their thing. You can collect the turret, which is nice when you're done with it. Um, and yeah, it seems like you know, I don't want to brag too much, but I think we did a good job working together, brag away, kind of complimenting each other's uh, abilities and. I'm not clear, Alex. Can you only pick one of each class, or can you like double up on classes? I did not get to test that out. Um, I was no, wondering no, no. the same thing. That's the only way I can answer that. Um, Fair. But, yeah, Alex, did you like Gunner? I did. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, you had a overdrive ability that made you shoot faster and reload quicker, and then the grenade was very helpful during you know times of intense um, you know. Yes. I guess the onslaught of aliens yeah. <laughs> during those, those tuxedo moments. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of wish I had tried another another ki um, another class because at times I felt it was a little bland personally. For sure. Um, but you know, you got what four four to choose from, I think. Yep. Um, yeah, demo, gunner, uh, technician, and doc. And then I got to play. I I tried all of them. Uh, I would say doc was. Not necessarily my least favorite, but I I didn't quite understand how the healing mechanism worked because the doc and it's in the name, right? It's the medic class. It can throw down this circle of healing that you can get into, and you know, as you can see in the bottom right there, there's a timer going for when your abilities re um, are available to you again, and that ability pops up. The healing ability pops up, but there's also a gauge on the right side of the screen that like is the amount you can heal and I, I didn't quite understand how that refilled so um i would say demo was in the footage you're watching here was the most fun i thought the lmg i'm using right here absolutely shred mm -hmm. and especially with how physical be using that a lot. The, the xenos get i loved his ability to this game is as good as bomb all i need is a release and, and I the release data come and with demo, I think the most. you got my money It, it is um and especially when it is oh god um it is the onslaught that you're seeing it is nice oh no i picked the wrong what? footage i wanted to show i was invincible <laughs> you're all right oh well. well this is showing off how like good your ai teammates are. exactly see i knew they would be for the be there for me um, all right so you can revive the, uh, uh, one another up, AA, Ron. <laughs> which makes sense <laughs> ai ron yeah. yes yes perfect there we go um, also, point a uh, quick point out. Now we're we're coming to the end of the video here, but um, I did want to point out that uh, you can see my my guns are purple. There is uh, customization yeah. in in this game. Uh, pretty light in the preview build. I don't know how heavy they're gonna go or if they're gonna do you know microtransactions or anything like that. But you know, there's a there's a slew of, of you can customize your armor. You can customize the the gun skins. The Customization, of course. There's a nice pair of, of aviator sunglasses, as I feel like every 80s movie probably needed. Hmm. Um, so, you know, there, and there's there's also depth in the consumables that you can pick up and, and use uh, some of the, there's gun customization. So it's definitely, I guess I don't know if I want to call it a deeper experience, but there is, there's it's more oh, than just like me. hitting start every game, you know? 
Nice. So. This looks fun. Like, I, I had fun playing it with you guys, like you said, like, in kind of, like, almost mindless way of, like, I'm oh, just chilling out, having a good conversation about aliens with, you know, two dudes I like, <laughs> and uh, doing some bug hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. I don't, yeah, it's, I, obviously it's preview, but also we're getting close to release. I, this isn't doing anything, ex, like, crazy new. But I do think it it is solid in its shooting mechanics, and I had fun in co-op. So, um, and for forty dollars, you know, I think that's a good that's a good. Uh, oh yeah, it ain't the full bad, sixty, is it? Or seventy? I think if it was sixty, it, that that makes a little bit of a difference. But um, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. Absolutely not. I um, am. Yeah. <laughs> Alex says, "Let's go home, shall we?" <laughs> Marcus, Mr. Van Aken, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Aliens Fireteam Elite is out soon. Uh, I'm looking where... <laughs> Marcus, do you have that up? Yes, I shall uh, allow me to bail you out real quick. Thank uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> it is August 24th. Damn. It's coming to uh, PlayStation consoles, Xbox consoles, and PC. Yeah, which is where we played it here, I should quick add. Uh, we played it on PC here. So, thanks. Uh, be good to go one another, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Well, J-Rock says this, this game is as good as bought. You're going to have the people's bucks in your pocket. Uh, August 24th, J-Rock will be getting this game. Uh, look forward to playing uh, solo, solo campaign. Post comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the Great One's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Also, hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, but J-Rock is cooking.